Hey guys, welcome back to another series. Yes, another series, a new series. We are playing Rogue Legacy. It is a roguelike, rogue, not roguelike, it's a roguelite. Um, more forgiving than a roguelike, but just as fun. Well, it can be just as fun. Let's start with a story. Sure, why not? Duties are my family. Aha. Uh -huh. But I am a lonely. Nope. Not lonely. Loyal. Only to myself. Eh. Ah. Smash, smash, smash. Fuck, I jump high. Fuh. Fuh. I don't think this matters, but I do want to destroy everything. It matters in the actual game, but I don't think it matters now. Smash. 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 Fuuuuh! I didn't take any damage from that. Huh. Well, that's the tutorial thing, I guess. Food. To drop down ledges. Sometimes the paintings are enemies. I guess not this time. Oh, it has to specifically be a down attack. Alright, cool. I forgot about that. Oh. Boom. Boom. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it'd be able to... I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to go through all of these, uh, all of these, just doing that, and then from the bounce, and then from the bounce, I'd be able to jump to the next one and do another, another dash attack thing. It's the previous king. Slice. Ha. Huh. We'll learn more about the story once we go into the game. And I do 25 damage. We'll learn more about the story once we go into the dungeon proper and... ...mess around with stuff. But the music in this game, fantastic. Eh. Journal Entry 1. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. Prince's journal. Uh, to bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. T together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. Hampson? Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. Time Im immemorial. But rumors say... Blah, blah, blah. Rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will set... Nope. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Oh, but fail it you will. Most likely. Like that. That bastard. That bastard painting. Trying to trick me. I've played a bit of the game, uh, 14 ish hours. And you can tell if the uh, paintings are real or not, not, if they wiggle or if you just slice at them and they don't do anything. Get away from me! Jugger. Do you wiggle? Nope. Fuh! And it's also like a bullet hell type game. God damn, I'm doing sh terrible. Uh, 
Oh. Um. As you can see in the top, in the top right corner, there is, uh, that's the mini map, but also there's a question mark. So this can either be a Easter egg, just a painting, uh, to, I commemorate the devs. I don't remember exactly what, or it can be a boss, a very bullet hell think, um, Toho or something. Fuck me, bullet hell it is. Yep. I should have went under, I went over. Oh well. So, uh, it shows you how many monsters you've killed. The one painting, uh, then the one ice dude, the two flame dudes, the turret, the two more flame dudes, and I got slain. Now a surly has been slain by Salos. Some classes have advantages over certain bosses. Sir Lee's parting words. So, that's the end of that. Uh, it's been a lovely, lovely seeing you guys. It's uh, nah, it's a dumb joke. Uh, so, in Rogue Legacy, when you die, instead of taking, well, you do take a new character, but that character is, is an heir of the character that came before you. So. Before was, the first one was Johannes, which was, um, I think that was the cutscene in Sepia. Uh, Sir Lee was the one we just played as. And then we can choose between three. Sir Jacob, Sir Hero, or Lady Elisa. And they all have special traits. Um, they all have a class and a special trait. Or two special traits. Uh, Sir Jacob is a knave. Sir Hero is a knave, and uh, Lady Lisa is a knave. I'm assuming I only have the knave class unlocked, and that's probably why I only have three knaves. Um, but they have traits. Uh, that uh, Jacob is flexible in OCD. Uh, uh, Hero is PAD, peripheral arterial disease, no foot pulse. Oh, so that one means, well, I'll go through that after. Uh, Lisa has Alzheimer's and ADHD. So, um, some stuff, some of the traits mean jack shit. Um, like a trait you are flexible, I have no idea what that is. Um, OCD, um, the OCD trait is must clear house, break stuff to recover MP. It tells it, really simple. And then you also have a spell, which is Chakram. Uh, which is basically like boomerang type, boomerang type thing. Um, not the shape, but the general idea of it. Shoot it, comes back. Um, peripheral arterial disease, no foot pulse. That means there are some traps that if you walk on them, they shoot spikes at you from the ground. That, that means this character is no, does not activate those. And Clompton Translocator drops and teleports to your shadow. So B to drop your shadow, and B again to teleport to your shadow. I'm assuming that's how that one works. Um, it has been a while since I've played this game. I played it like the month that it came out and then I stopped playing it. Because some other game came out and then I just lost this one. I just, I didn't actually lose it, but it, you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, Alzheimer's is the mini map means jack shit. You don't have one, it's useless. <clears throat> ADHD is you move faster. And she also has the quantum translocator. Uh, I think I will take uh, restore MP for breaking shit. That looks like fun. And we got uh, 200 gold and we can spend 50 to unlock the smithy. And this is the start of our castle. Blacksmith can build stuff for you. You gather blueprints and then you unlock them at them. It's cool stuff. So we've got 150 left. We've unlocked the blacksmith. There was only one level of it. It's just unlocking it. We can mana up or we can health up. 60 for the health and 60 for the mana. I will prioritize health. And then after that is I can uh, turn your knights into paladins. So that means that I have both the knave and the knight class. And if I get this, that means I'll have the uh, paladin class as well. And that's just press Y to block all incoming damage. 
So I will, instead of doing that, go for mana up. And that unlocks a fancy looking road. And that's that. Can't spend my money on anything else. Uh, if I talk to the blacksmith, used to be the greatest blacksmith. Monsters of this castle attack my smithies, told all blueprints. So uh, I just mean to click on that last one. Um, I can build the most equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. So right now, 250 to unlock this one. It increases weight, uh, but it increases damage by 7. Um, a new helmet, more HP, more mana, but more weight. And all that the weight does is it doesn't slow you down or anything. It's just that's the limit of how much weight you can have. You can't go over the weight limit. Actually, I'm talking about it. I'm talking out of my ass. I don't remember what the hell the weight limit means. Um, now I got some limbs, more magic, and then nothing there. So Squire seems to be kind of an all-rounder type thing. There's some more interesting variations that we'll see later on. Ah, and Karen? Sharon? Karen? I, I don't know how you say his name. Uh, one must pay the toll. Give Sharon. I'll call him. I'll call him Sharon because it seems like a kind of feminine name because it's a lady name and he's the dude that brings you across the river sticks. Is that him? I think that's him. My throat's going all dry. Real weird. Um. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All your money and enter the castle. Don't have a choice. You got to give them all your money. So that's the uh, roguelike aspect of it. Kind of. The roguelite is that you get upgrades that are persistent for all characters. But the rogue, uh, but the rogue aspect, which is the roguelike aspect, is uh, the uh, the map is randomly generated each time. You can. I didn't want this. Uh, you can get something that'll lock it in place, so if you like one design, you can stick to it. <sighs> oh, that was terrible. So that's what the shock room is. And this game is kind of really chaotic. So, you know. Phew! So, you know, I'm gonna die often. Very often. Uh, sprint rune lets you dash. I do not have the sprint rune. Uh, how much money did I make that off, off of that one? I don't know. So, we can choose. Uh, mage. I don't care much for mages. Arc ma archmages, or arc archmages, yeah, archmages. Um, I prefer, but mages just themselves, eh, I could care less for. Uh, Coprolalia, I think that just means she swears a whole shit ton. Uh, and then vertigo means uh, the world is flipped. On the... X-axis? Z-axis? I don't fucking know. Uh, but it's flipped vertically. It's flipped on the horizontal axis. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, but the knave is the only one that's not a mage, so I'll take that one. I made 200 bucks. Uh, let's go for paladin. Class upgrade. That's just a direct class upgrade. The knights are into battleians now. The m knights have been turned into. Not that they're interested in pal- uh, no. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, upgrade carry capacity will allow you to wear better and heavy armor. Oh, so I wasn't talking about my ass for the armor thing. It really is uh, a carry weight limit. Yeah, why not? It'll upgrade new shit. So, the next two upgrades are Architect. Gain the power to lock down the castle for 100 gold. That's 100 gold to stop him, to 
unlock him. Um, and then the Enchantress is, uh, she unlocks runes and whatnot. Uh, and then mana up, but that's 140. Health is 140. Equip up is 140. I don't have enough money for anything. And everything that the smithy has is like... Oh, my bad. Everything the smithy has is like 250-ish. So let's go in with... Uh, 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 what was her trait? She swears a lot? Yeah, well, she's a motive. Let's go with that. Bam! Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Uh, food would be lovely. See, I'm I'm not great at talking while I'm playing these games. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Fuck me. Choose another air. Uh, Lady Chun Li, Ectomorph, and Capro. Lalia. Caprolalia. Uh, skinny, so every hit sends you flying. But I got the Grand Blade. I got a Mage, which is OCD and sweary. Hypergonadism. Permaroid, your attack knocks enemies further. Uh, let's go with him. I'll play as a Mage at some point, but for right now. Enchantress. Which... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Upgrade Mage to Archmage, for that cost 360. Um, magic damage up. I don't really use his mage, I don't really use mage all, mages all that often, so I'll pass. Unlock the Architect and gain powers to lock down the castle. I will do that. I'm probably not gonna use them. At least not unless I'm going for a boss run or something. I will lock down a castle, uh, prevent it from changing. But he takes like 60% of what you make. So there is a cost to it. Uh, attack up, which I will take at some point, And Barbarian to Barbarian King. So you basically get Fusroda. I think is what it boils down to. Um, Enchantress, talk to you. Uh, used to be very powerful. Monsters, stole your stuff. Dash. Yeah, I'll buy, go, okay. Dash. It costs some money though. Uh, Vault Rune gives you double jump. And if you have more than one, then you can get like triple jump, quadruple jump, and whatnot. Uh, anything? Nope. Just uh, dash and. Nah, I'm not talking to you. Just dash and. Um, Dash and double jump. This will be my last run, and after that, uh, well, after I die, it'll be the, uh, motherfucker. I hit the brightest sometimes. I'm well aware of that. Fuck! I didn't mean to jump. God damn it. It'll take me a while to get reacquainted with all these controls. Well, at least that's a fairly easy chest to get. Oh, motherfucker. I forgot. You can tell which way they're gonna go by the orientation of the iron bar. If the iron bar is vertical, it means that the wooden bar is gonna be vertical. If the iron bar is horizontal, wooden bar is gonna be horizontal. So, and this was an objective room, so if I fail the objective, which is take no damage, 
the chest that's at the end, I won't be able to open it, so that's pointless for me to try and go over there. But that would have either been a rune or a... Uh, either a rune or a, a blacksmith blueprint thing. God damn, I'm sucking ass. Yeah. I swear I'm not usually this terrible. Well, no, I'm not. I'm, I don't swear that. But I'm gonna take another air and then buy something. Uh, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Basically, when you jump, you make a fart. It's basically pointless. Um, it does not actually affect you. Chickens freak you out. I don't think that makes anything. And giantism is your your physical frame is actually bigger. Uh, no peripheral version, and you got two of hands, can't cast spells. Let's go to this one just to show you guys tunnel vision. 290. Can't get that, can't get that. I can get up, uh, attack up. And then... Uh, that's it. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Uh, 250, 150, 200. How much does these cost? 175, 175. Cool. I'll show you guys what tunnel vision is like. Or not? I, I thought it was one thing, but apparently not. Is it just me or there's no transition? Maybe that's the only difference. There's no transition when you're going from screen to screen. It is kind of jarring. But relatively inoffensive. Fuck's sakes. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, that'll be the last one. I'm not gonna get a new character. Yeah, so I did fairly terribly. Uh, hopefully I'll do better next time around. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day, stay safe, and goodbye.